Um, I'm wondering if, uh, um, uh, was it your change in vision then that got you thinking about eye contact and is, was no, that your no, way into no, the... No, no, that came, that, that oh. was a child. Ah. This came much later on. You, what did? Theatre. Theatre came much later on. Yeah, ah. I, I didn't grow, I grew up going to, once a year I went to the circus mm -hmm. and that was good. That was before the war. After the war the circuses weren't so good. Maybe I, I was changed, but and there were all kinds of questions. Like there were three trampolinists, trampolinists. Mm -hmm. Two were funny and one wasn't. <laughs> I never stopped worrying about that. I could, they were doing the same things. Hmm. But when I got into theatre, I found the answer to that. What was the answer? Two of them, after they'd done the trick, didn't know where they were. They they looked the wrong way. But the gymnast, who'd obviously just joined them, he always knew where he was, and he always ended the fall or the jump looking in the direction he should do. So he wasn't funny, and the clowns were. Oh. So it's nice that you can answer problems like that with theatre. So how did you get into theatre? I don't think I actually know that, how that happened. Oh, I was cr crazy about films and Kafka. Uh, and I also was crazy about Waiting for Goddard, which is the only play I understood. Very difficult to understand what Agatha Christie's about, or it, it's easy to understand what God is about, because we're just like people in my family. Um, and then I stopped off. I, I, in those days, I had to pay for my tickets. I mean, <laughs> dear God. Oh. I think, and I wasn't, I was fairly poor. But well, what were you? What were you doing? I mean, if you hadn't already considered a life in theatre, what were you doing? I don't know how old I was, you were. At I was this trying point. to write a novel. This would all be about oh, oh fifty-five, something like that. I'd mm -hmm. be about twenty. I don't know. It would be after my twenty-first birthday, which would be in uh, nineteen fifty-three, mm -hmm. and I stopped off at the soup kitchen and chatted to this. Italian girl who turned out to be really interested in films and crazy about Kafka. So we used to meet and talk and things and after three weeks she took me to Soho Square and up a up more and more staircases. Each staircase got small. I thought I was hoping she might be taking me to her bedroom. But we turned up in a room full of what I thought was seaweed. And then I focused on it, and it was 35 millimeter film. And a gnome-like figure called Lindsay Anderson was in the middle with a movieola and was editing her 35 millimeter film that she hadn't actually mentioned. Hmm. Um, and I realized now it was unusual to be so besotted by film as I was. I mean, yeah, what did I, you what did you love about it? Oh, it was a great art form of the 20th century. Aha. Fantastic. And also, the Japanese cinema was extremely good at the time. So, great, great movies coming out. Oh, and the British Film Institute, which kind of collapsed into showing American gangster films, <laughs> at that time was doing a whole history of cinema. So, they were showing wonderful movies. Uh, yeah, so it was a very good time hmm. for, for that. And then the Royal Court Theatre started, and they were paying novelists to uh, write plays. And Lindsay said, this is stupid. Take some risks. You're not going to get anywhere paying novelists. So, so they said, well, who do we commission? And he said, why don't you pay Keith? And I'd had some, I'd, I'd been to some sort of runner-up in some Observer newspaper short story competition. And they read the story and they liked it, so they paid me to write a play. Before you'd ever written a play before, you got a commission? Yeah, it Amazing. was a scandal. There was a playwright on the board called Ronald Duncan. I had to go and see him and be interviewed. I told him all kinds of mythological stuff, which he liked. Because he, <laughs> he was into that. Uh, but it took me a long time to write the play. 
because by that time my writing has almost stopped. Yeah, I used to love writing. What and happened? I, I never quite worked it out. I did go to a grammar school, which was repulsive. Um, and I stopped being intelligent. I got transferred to a B stream with lots of woodwork and gardening and stuff for the duller children. Um, and they never asked me to write a story the whole time that I was there. In because school? You weren't asked to write a story? In that grammar school for seven years, they never asked me to write a story. What? And it's about my favorite thing. I don't know, what, if you, what are you doing in grammar school if you're not writing? They want you to write business letters. As a child? No, but you go to the grammar school when you're 11. Oh. What? oh. 11 to 18. And you, so you start writing business letters at 11? You suppose, this crap, that, that, that they wanted you, they had no interest in art. Oh, so tedious. <laughs> they had no interest. <laughs> right. They wanted you to be, they wanted you to be a boring, conservative business person. That's what their aim was. I was the best at art and music, and that didn't get anywhere. I should have been the best at cricket, then they would have liked me. Hmm. But I wasn't. So... You got a commission to write a play. Yeah, I wrote it called Bricks and the Gatter. And then there was a play to go with it. It wasn't long enough, so I then I wrote another quick play. And that's how you ended up at the Royal Court Theatre. Yeah, it was always different. They had piles and piles of plays. Cause they just, this new theatre started in 56, and it was advertised as a writer's theatre. So every writer dragged their plays out of the cupboard from 30 years back, and they sent them in. And they had trouble finding play readers. So they tried me out and they loved me. I was, for some reason, I was, um, I mean, my taste in some reason corresponded to the directors of the theatre. So I'm not saying I was a great play reader, but I was a useful play reader. Also, they'd, all these modern plays would come in, which I understood. And they didn't, because they, they yeah, they weren't thinking symbolically. Is that what was, so? This is the, probably in the '60s at this point, yeah, or late this, '50s still. This should be '56, um, uh -huh. '57. 